Secret group of teenagers who explore the drains and tunnels under the streets of Australia's capital cities. Klansmen describe themselves as adventurers, but authorities hold a very different view. They say the teenagers are fools playing a dangerous and potentially deadly game. Martin King reports. It's dark, deserted, and dangerous. Oh, yuck! Welcome to the subterranean world of the Cave Clan, a gung-ho group of young men whose home away from home is Melbourne's underground tunnel system. Why are you part of the Cave Clan? Because I find that the um, drain world is sort of like another world where you can be what you want to be. And sort of, it may be a bit dangerous, but you take that risk. But we haven't got up to Berkshire. Well, how far down do you want to go? Do you want to go down to Collins Street? The gang is highly organised, and its members use detailed maps which allow them to invade the entire city and suburban underworld. Go all the way. Why don't you want to be identified? <laughs> I don't really need the, the cops after me at all at the moment, so you know, I just want to keep what I'm doing what I'm doing. You get the best feeling from it, you know, it's the risk involved, you know, it's the adrenaline pumping. The, um, the thrill of dodging the cops and all that, it's the best feeling. And the risk to human life down here can't be underestimated, according to the Board of Works, which controls the drains. Drains and tunnels have basically three dangers. One is the air quality. We can have lack of oxygen or some gases in the, in the drain. Second is the potential for a flash flood that would um, come without warning and could drown people. And the third is the slippery conditions within the drain where people could fall over, break a leg. Steve Tech is the operations manager. We've had floods in the centre of Melbourne that have been awash through the streets and they've occurred without warning. And the drains that feed through under Melbourne were overflowing to the extent that the water was spilling out into the streets. Now, if you were in the drain at that time, you would have no hope. You would be drowned. I've been doing it for about four years. Basically just lack of anything else to do. Gilligan describes himself as one of the elders of the cave clan. He must be all of 19. You're not suggesting young kids do this, are you? No, no, definitely not. That's what we stress. I mean, the only people that are in the cave clan are people that we've met from being up, up the drains themselves. When they're not exploring the nether regions of the city, they tackle their homework, updating the cave clan's location sheets. Each tunnel is codenamed with the shape, diameter, number of manholes, and the length recorded. What's this thing here? Man, you've got cobwebs all over your face. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. No, this is a look. side tunnel. They're the world's most fearsome fighting team. We're really hip. Who was first, you or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That's a sore point, but um, we were. And if you had any doubts about their dedication, this is their annual awards night. The Clannies, filmed by them, of course. Yeah! The Clannies are held in this huge underground chamber which links to a drain into the Yarra. Naturally, they're held at low tide. There's even a monthly magazine called Il Drano. And God forbid, there's a theme song. <laughs> Do you worry that your natural curiosity might get you killed? No, we always take pretty much um, precautions all the time. I mean, usually with a few exceptions, we won't go in if it's cloudy at all. The board publicises a lot about um, noxious gases or, or whatever like that. We do smell it occasionally, we're not denying it. Um, we haven't got any kind of detecting gear, but you know, it's, it's never hassled us at all. Then, the unexpected. Oh, okay. We're all going to... It's raining. Since we descended, the water level has risen markedly. It's at times like this you realise how easily a flash flood would turn a tunnel of adventure into a tomb. It's only a matter of time before one of these people are caught in a flash flood or are asphyxiated to lack of oxygen or a gas. In fact, we had a fireman caught during an exercise some years ago where a flash flood ended up drowning that fireman. 
so it can happen. It definitely can happen. No worries about that. Martin King reporting, and we cannot overstate the risks involved in that activity. Apart from the dangers explained in the story, it has to be said that without television lights, the drains are pitch black, which of course magnifies all the other hazards.